Module 4, The Maritime Security Assessment. This course discusses the process of performing a ship and port facility security assessment as it pertains to the process of developing and updating the port or ship security plan. The process of performing a threat assessment and on-site vulnerability assessment or security survey followed by a risk and consequence analysis is detailed. Risk-based decision making is presented as a tool for completing a security assessment and determining prioritized security measures for a ship or port facility. Students are encouraged to adopt systematic and consistent approaches to the evaluation of security conditions and vulnerabilities, including the use of checklists and software to perform their assessments. Students are taught methods of conducting audits, inspection, and monitoring of port and ship security. Techniques used to circumvent security measures are also covered, as well as the need to document the security assessment process. This program is given in three parts seaport and ship security measures and vulnerabilities, methodology and considerations associated with a port facility vulnerability assessment, and a sample risk assessment methodology for a port facility or ship risk assessment. Risk-based decision making is a systematic and analytical process used to consider the likelihood that a security breach will endanger an asset, individual, or function. A security assessment is a process that identifies weaknesses in physical structures, personnel, protection systems or processes, information programs, or other areas that may lead to a security breach and may suggest options to eliminate or mitigate those weaknesses. A risk assessment should include prioritized recommendations designed to reduce risk by protecting against identified threats and not the entire spectrum of non-credible threats, and this is important. When you undertake an assessment of any sort, the inclination will be to protect yourself by including in that assessment every potential vulnerability that you can think of. But in so doing, you make it impossible for yourself to actually come up with a risk mitigation program that makes sense and also that people can afford. The problem you will encounter is that there are literally millions of potential vulnerabilities in any port. But not all of those are realistic, particularly given that the threat might be very finite. We have to look at such things as prospect of bombings, armed attacks, hijacking, mining, small boat attacks, combat swimmers, internal sabotage. But weapons of mass destruction are the only ones that have not yet been, been realized by a port somewhere. But when you consider that each of these has occurred somewhere in the world, it gives one pause. And it also should give you uh, uh, concern and direction on where you go when you start looking at your threat assessment. Port of Colombo, because of the insurgency and because of the internal turmoil associated with the LTTE Tigers that we discussed in the introduction, the Port of Colombo has seen attacks by commandos, by, by both combat swimmers and land assailants. They've been mortared. They've been bombed with suicide bombers. When I was there most recently, I was given a tour by the commander of security for the port a special forces colonel. He was very proud of all of the measures that had taken place. Uh, and indeed, they were quite uh, formidable. Every person had to have an ID issued by the port, regardless of how long you were going to be there. You had to be escorted at all times. Every vehicle entering the port goes up on stands, and they're inspected beneath and inside, while the occupants are held off to the side with machine guns and snipers with weapons trained on them. Not much gets by these folks. Although I was curious that there was one lane, and one lane only, where taxis were driving in and out of the port unimpeded. Well, that caused me some, some concern, and I asked my friend um, first by telling him, you know, everything you're doing here is, is extraordinary, and I don't know that I've seen better security at an access point to any port anywhere in the world, but I am somewhat troubled by the taxis that appear to go through without any sort of challenge whatsoever. And he looked down at the ground and then he said, well, Kim, all I can tell you is that we're very concerned about the LTTE Tigers, but we're scared to death of the taxi union. <laughs>